You guys better see this, because this art has been around ever since the time of Lapu-Lapu. But to the viewers out there, beware, because this isn't your ordinary form of martial art, but a deadly form of self-defense. So, parental guidance is advised. My name is Kim, and today, I'm your game plan correspondent. It's combat fighting with blades all the way. Welcome to the world of Kali. Okay, the right. Introducing to you the uh, Pigate Tertia system, which is the art of Kali, the indigenous art of the Filipinos. My name is Grant Tuhon, Leo Tigahi Jr. I am the Grandmaster of the Pigate Tertia system. So we are here to uh, present to you and enlighten the Filipinos that as far as the Filipino indigenous art is concerned, it is already spread all over the world and is the number two martial arts in the world today. <laughs> Uh, the word that is used to describe the Filipino indigenous fighting art. Kali is a Filipino uh, term for the art otherwise known as Arnes or Escrima. We don't use the word Arnes and Escrima because first of all it is not indigenous. It is a Spanish uh, terminology which we don't want to use it because we are Filipinos. At the same time, Kali is a philosophy. It is a philosophy of our forefathers many, many hundred years ago which establishes the principle of uh, believing in life. So Kali is a positive solution to any negative reaction. Piggy Tersa is a close quarter in fighting techniques, which is uh, a system of uh, Kali, which is uh, more uh, indigenous from the province of Negros Occidental. Piggy means to get close, or you are closing in or you are closing up. It piquete is a, an elongated word, uh, which is uh, a uh, terminology to close in to somebody. And tertia is to bring somebody to a certain quarter uh, so that you will not, uh, he cannot move out from that area. So you quarter him. In the system that I teach, or the part of the system that I teach, I stress the it's the system of the Filipino fighting man. It's very popular with all of the military special operation forces because of the, again, the emphasis on weaponry. Because the military is fight with weapons, not empty hands. But we have the empty hand training also. Step to the right, to the left. As military men, we fight with weapons. We don't fight with empty hands. So right away it made a lot of sense. And uh, so I started to do my research into the different styles and the systems and uh, saw the emphasis on the true Kali, not the Arnis or Screamer, but the true Kali of Pikiti Tertia, which is training with the blade, which is a, uh, a higher degree and the original art or the mother art of the Filipino martial arts. The Piquete Tertia system, which is now the uh, training system of the Philippine Marine, uh, is uh, designed for a special program that will protect them from against all weaponry attack. It is a system that will train the, uh, the, the Marines, the proper application of footwork and the application of edge and impact weapon. So here are a few things you should know in learning the We're going to present how the Filipino indigenous art and the old grandmaster was able to perfect the application of the, play, the use of the combat category of the knife and the blade. Edge impact weapons. The training here is started with the weapons. While the other arts are training for empty hands, we are trained with weaponry. The main difference is, is that it's a weapon-based art. All of the other oriental cultures and the western cultures all start fighting from empty hands. They learn how to fight empty hands first. When they go to fight with weapons, they have to learn a different system all over again. First, we are going to show to you the speed 
the perfect timing and the accuracy of the single baston. And then we have the short knife, which is the daga, any type of short blade. You deliver it again, you trust. You release it. We have the long blade, which is, uh, the general term is bolo, but the specific is ginunting or the talibong. And then, uh, finally, into empty hands. Empty hand technique. Well, empty hand combat comes from, in the Filipino martial arts, it's what we call the hand blade. Because in the absence of a knife, or the absence of a blade, you use your hand in the same motion. So we call that principally the hand blade. You break, crush the elbow, break the forearm. So, the Filipino art is not only for a knife to knife, but the use also of the empty hands by the application of the hand blade. He delivers that knife, he controls that, so we are more advanced in nature because we train first with weaponry, then we take the hand as a part of the movements. This is a stretch survival technique. Apply for that you really lock him up on his army slot. Okay, that's because you want to survive in the street, you want to survive in any situations against rape, against uh, possible attack, against the mugging. Because once you are trained in, in this, you become security conscious. So your training contributes to your preventive uh, factor in terms of how you protect yourself. Well, in self-defense terms, we can be as humane as we want to be or as deadly as we want to be because the, the force that our attacker attacks us with will decide our counter or the method of self-defense. You hit here, for example, you hit this, and then you follow it up, hit the head again. So, so not just three. one strike, yeah. that's... You have to strike as much as you can, something like that. One, five, then hit, hit, pop, then run. Don't you learn something new every day on game plan? It's a complete art. It's a, clear, a complete uh, method of living and uh, a complete philosophy to guide you in everyday uh, events and everyday trial and tribulations of your life. It is an art that uh, generates very positive results to young people as well as to the old people. The basic positive result is that it uh, opens up their mind in terms of uh, self-protection, self-survival, and also family survival, family protection. It lasted for the last 100 years. We celebrated our uh, centennial now, 1898. There's no reason it will not last for the next 2098. Ah, very good. It's a complete martial art, this ultimate Filipino fighting system known as Pekiti Tershakali. And here on Game Plan, you've just been witness to hard-hitting blows and fluid footworks. Techniques which have lasted more than 100 years. This is Kim Gomez, your correspondent, reporting for Game Plan.